Louis Davis, The Terrible Twins YouTube. How's everyone doing? We're taking it back full circle and we've decided that we want to give you a very intimate video the men behind the muscle, the men behind the mindsets. I think it's important because of our journey, our motivation and what it is we're offering people now that you understand why it is the way that we are. We're taking away the music, we're taking away the aggression today. We're going to be straight down the line, straight down the middle and give you an honest insight to why we are the way that we are as individuals. It started in 1983. We were born to a single parent and we were told from a very young age that anything is possible and we managed to witness that firsthand. Born into humble beginnings, money was completely, was, we didn't have a lot of it to be honest. We missed out on school trips, we couldn't wear certain types of shoes to school because my mum couldn't afford them so we'd have to wear trainers. So we learnt from a young age that if you want anything in life evidently you're going to have to work really, really, really hard and that's just to afford the most simplistic things. My mum was born with cancer, she had a tumour behind her eye which was removed. Um, so growing up in school we were ridiculed, laughed at and mocked basically because my mum's so called appearance with a false eye. Um, I've never once heard the lady moan about it or anything of the sort. People say to me, my brother, why do we have such a, an aggressive, tenacious attitude towards life, a carefree attitude where we genuinely don't really give a fuck about too much? It's because we've seen at home that anything's possible. If I can watch my mum overcome cancer, I know for a fact no bill, no trivial shit or problem in my life can ever keep me back, harness me or hold me down. Um, at the age of seven we got into kickboxing, we went to a very well known kickboxing club um, in Coventry and we were surrounded by some world class fighters. We were sent there because we were deemed as problem children. Um, fast apparent did it become known that we weren't problem children, we were very highly strung gentlemen with a lot of aggression that needed to be released. We stayed there for six years. We did exceptionally well and we moved on into amateur boxing. Reese Davis, the terrible twins. As Louis just said, man, we're keeping it real. So uh, when we finish our karate, okay, we moved on into boxing. But before that, he failed to, to talk to you about what happened at our school. We got bullied at school. I was slightly overweight, okay, Louis wasn't. And we got bullied every day at school. I was scared to go to school. I didn't particularly enjoy it because I used to get picked on. Now, the problem with this is, okay, it made me insecure and it made me scared to socialize with people. However, I knew that it was just a phase that everyone sometimes has to go through in life in order to move forward. Okay, so after our karate career, we got to the age of 15. And then we started to represent Coventry Schoolboy Football Club. Okay, we represented them for, Louis, how long was it? Three to four years? Um, four years. Yeah, four, four years. years. So after four years, and we represented our city. We represented West Midlands. We then went on to sign a professional contract at a young age, where we signed a YTS form for Preston North End, under the manager, David Moyes. Right. Football is great, we enjoyed it, but TTT being so aggressive, we weren't really team players. We needed individualism, we needed to be able to rely on ourselves rather than 10 or 11 people. So fast approaching that, because we were being aggressive on the playing field, our manager pulled us aside and says, could you take up boxing as a part-time sport to release some aggression? Which brings us on to our fantastic boxing story and we'll explain to all you motherfuckers why we are the way we are, why we are quiet, why we don't whisper in front of the camera and why we don't do six to eight motherfucking reps and quit. Because you know TTT, we train till failure. And as you can see from my voice, I'm getting excited about this motherfucker. Woo! So yeah, um, amateur boxing. I started off boxing for Royal Leamington Spa. They said to me, you're probably going to be here about six months before you get a fight. Six weeks in, I was given my first fight. Reese was in the army. He travelled back from the army, came to watch me box. I got a stoppage. Stoppage in my first fight. I cried on the way into the ring. I covered my head with a towel. I was, <laughs> I was absolutely petrified. So that's where we started learning about ourselves. That's where we started learning that you got to control that aggression. And once you actually control it and try and use it, it's a little bit scary because the Aggression comes back into yourself, then you realise what real emotion's about. It's fucking easy to start giving it out willy nilly when you can't control your aggression and you start acting a certain way without thinking. It's an absolute cop out. Six fights in there. I was chosen to box off 
one of the best people in the country for Wales because that's where my mum was from. I ended up boxing for my country, I got flew out to Norway where I fought in just my sixth fight, the world number three seed. Reese was inspired in the army so he took up boxing there where he absolutely cleaned up. In the military then, I was bored, I was aggressive. So I joined a Peacock Gym, which is, gym, which is in East London. I boxed for them, won my first four fights, by the way, a knockout. I then won every single title in the military, to battalion, to regiment, to company level, to infantry level, to the army championships, to the combined service championships. I then went on to box my country and win a national title, which is the ABAs. I fought at four different weights and won four titles at all the weights. So as you can see, when me and my brother attach ourselves to something, we give it 110%. We truly believe through consistency, hard work and dedication, whatever the field is in, you can achieve something. Don't start something to be average or become average. Start something to be the best you can be. Otherwise, the question I've got to ask you, why the fuck start? There is no point. So in our boxing career, I won a title, my brother won, um, almost won a title, so that's 1-0 to Reese Davis. We then got offered professional boxing terms where I went to Manchester and signed contracts and I was Amir Khan's training partner. Right, the moral of this story, the reason we're telling you things about us, if you can see there's one trait, success, 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 success. In between each success, there's a failure. The message of this video is you've got to be willing to fail your way to success. We're two lads that have been born from nothing. You know, we had love support from our parents, no money whatsoever. We have no money to, to follow our dreams, we just had the passion. We had to improvise food, we had to improvise footballs, we had to improvise football boots, at boxing gloves, bandages, crepe bandages instead of real ones. So if we can do it, you can. You know, our mission ain't to basically get the whole industry motivated and be ambassadors for the fucking fitness industry. Fuck that, that shit can look after itself. Our motivation is to inspire, inspire what society classes bog standard people. Because if we can do it, you motherfuckers can do it. You know, when we're talking aggressive to the camera, please understand, it's not aggression as in hatred, it's passion. You know, if I can't look at the camera now and say to you, get up, let's go, let's, you can do this right now. And I'm talking like a Monday motherfucker that's got 10 <laughs> degrees at college. Hi everyone, you, it's not selling, it's not doing it. I need to talk in a way that you're gonna listen, you know? And our success stories come from passion. That's not bought, that's found within. In a nutshell, and we're gonna wrap it up because there's more to the story. We could talk about 25 years to our life, but we'll reveal that later on. Remember, listen to me. You start at the bottom through pain, adversity, blood, sweat and tears, you work your way up to the top. Allow all adversity to shape you into a stronger, wiser, more determined person. Any obstacle that arises in your path is merely a learning curve. If we can have the courage to succeed, so can you. Remember, the terrible twins are about spreading positive motivation throughout the globe. And I want to... I want to say something before Reese does his signature. No amount of criticism, hatred, bad words have the ability to touch me and Reese. Listen to me. Nothing negative that you say resembles anything to me and Reese. You kill yourself when you chat that shit. So you want to say something positive or listen. Any type of hatred, negativity or shit, you can go and fuck yourself. As he says, man, all you negative motherfuckers belong in the bin. And uh, being a 20 stone big man, I'll put you all in the bin personally. Now listen, let's finish off with something like this. Rhys Davis, the terrible twins. Let's get fucking massive! Woo!